Okay, so it was quick introductions uh, to position uh, the Cube AI, and now I will let Guillaume uh, to go a little bit more in depth in terms of uh, technical. So today we're going to talk about a function pack for AI called FPAI Sensing One. So there are several uh, function packs available here at ST to get you started uh, building application. Uh, it could be like an IoT cloud uh, function pack, one for predictive maintenance or for LoRa. But we'll be focusing on today's function pack called FPAI Sensing One. This function pack has two example uh, neural network implementation in it. The first one will be the acoustic scene classification, uh, where it will listen to ambient noise and tell you if that noise is an indoor noise, outdoor noise, or in vehicle noise. The second one is the human activity recognition. So it will look at accelerometer data and tell you which type of activity you're doing, whether you're running, walking, or uh, jogging, and so on. So it's supported on uh, several of our boards. So you can use the Nucleo platform with the shields for the sensors. You can use the sensor tile or the newly announced uh, sensor tile.box or uh, the IoT board that we'll be using today. So the sensor tile is good for form factor uh, implementation with battery powered devices. And the IoT board is uh, great for uh, single board development with the embedded S2Link programmer and the UART connection. The sensors, uh, they're all tied, the ST sensor are all tied to the hardware using ST libraries and third party libraries. We have a dedicated ST AI library for neural networks, audio preprocessing, and then on top of that sits the user application to tie everything to together. Other features implemented in this function pack are uh, the BLE connectivity. This is just to configure your hardware to send the output communication to the screen and view the results of the neural network. We have a low power implementation using FreeRTOS and the STM32 uh, advanced stop modes. We have a photo feature for firmware update and neural network updates. <coughs> And then uh, the form factor implementation shown here. Uh, so we have the neural network will be running on the STM3204 microcontroller connected either to the microphone for the audio input or the accelerometer for the uh, human activity recognition. For the human activity recognition, so this was done um, using an uh, internally collected data set uh, that we collected using a sensor tile stored on the SD card. We then used that data and trained a model, a neural network model uh, on a powerful computer and then used the tools like uh, Cube AI to map it to an STM32 uh, microcontroller. There's also some embedded pre-processing uh, running to remove, for example, the gravity of the um, sensors. Uh, then the other demo is the audio scene classification. Uh, so we also recorded some data uh, internally. And then it can listen to the audio and tell you whether you're indoor, outdoor, or in vehicle. The pre-processing that we'll be using for this is the log mail spectrogram. So this is just an FFT followed by the mail filter bank application to, uh, so that the signal looks uh, more similar to what your ear can hear. If you were doing uh, keyword spotting or uh, trigger word detection, you would be using something like MFCC. Other demos we have is the handwriting character recognition. So this one is shown outside where you can just uh, write with your finger on this LCD touchscreen letters or uppercase, uh, uppercase letters or digits from zero to nine. And uh, this one is a uh, has a very small footprint of only 26 kilobyte of RAM, for example, but then we can see a uh, more uh, resource hungry application such as the food recognition. So this is a computer vision uh, AI application. There's a camera that's able to look at a dish and tell uh, and recognize up to 18 different classes of food. The difference with this one is that it has been implemented in uh, fixed point uh, numbers. So the, um, instead of using 32-bit uh, float numbers uh, like we were using before, it will be using 8-bit integer numbers for the calculation. 
So this will reduce your uh, memory footprint by four. And it's also faster for your inference time.